Now in this video, I want to go over the idea of warping samples and particularly getting stems and warping all my stem parts out. The reason why I want to do this, it's going to allow me to have more flexibility with the samples and I may want to use them in some other capacity in some other song or some other project. Let's start this out. I got a song here that's popular that I can't play back because it's going to be a copyright infringement. But what I will do, I will drag it into this empty session I have right here for this empty sequence. Uh, the program is A Night to Remember, and I have the track, which is right here. Now, if I touch that, it's going to probably play. So what I'm going to do is going to drag it right over to here. Boom, right there. And I'm in there. Now, that part's right there. Now, what I've done already is set it up. So I'm going to come right to here. I'm going to right click, and I get this list here. And I want to go to edit. Once I go to edit, as you can see right now, I'm right here into the track. And I'm on the section right here, as you can see, right before my section comes up, right here. There you go. And I want to come right down to here and open this up. And this is my section of this particular song. So in order to avoid the copyright idea, I'm going to go here into the upper right-hand corner. I'm going to select, turn my keys into pads, so my keyboard is going to be the pads now. And I can use Z to trigger this sample, and I'll do this. That's why I just use stop to stop it, but you got the idea, that's the sample right there. I'd like to make some stems of this thing. I'll come right here and I'll press create stems. Now, of course, you've seen this before. We got vocals, we just heard them. There's a bass line, there's drums, and there's some other music in there too as well. Now you can see here, I have right here in the front, on the first actual uh, pad I have it, it's A1, right? And so I wanna make, let's see, pad 13, my pad. I'll go to here, 13. I'm going to A, I'm going to A13 right here. That's cool. And so A13 is where I'm going to put my stems at. I'm going to press do it. Pretty simple thing you guys already probably have done already. And then once I've done that, these stems will appear, of course, on pad 13. Now I'm going to go back to main mode and they appear right there, right? And so what I want to do next is I want to come here to program and I can see my stems are going to be right there. So I come right here and hit this. I will have them right there, but I want to make sure it's going to be one. I'll make sure I cut it off real quickly. Good. That's not bad. And now I'm there on 13. You can see right here. And then I can see I have my layers here, sample layers. And I have the vocals in one, the bass in two, the drums in three, and others in four. Now, before I continue, I want to talk about what we're doing now in Sample Kings besides this video. You can see here, we have our membership now is $110.98, or 89 cents, excuse me, for one year membership. You can download all our samples. It's uh, There are a lot of samples, over almost 200,000 samples now. And you can also get legal contracts for you guys in America, and you get help from us as well. Telephone, leave email, there's a system built inside our entire school system. Now also, we have lessons as you probably already know and you see right here these lessons are just sixteen dollars an hour it's normally 20 but it's sixteen dollars an hour now and it's ten dollars for a half hour which is kind of cool you can use cash app this is the pay code with cash app right here this is the pay code with venmo if you want to use venmo to pay for the sessions if you want to use paypal you scroll to the top you go here to the store you click on the store you get right here pick what you want half hour hour whatever it is you can even buy large blocks and whittle it down as you start to learn more and more about whatever you want to learn, whether it's Pro Tools, Logic, MPC, Machine, Rolling, doesn't make a difference, we know them all. Let's go back here. Now, from here, the book time is very easy. You'll see right here we have one hour, two hour, three hour, four hour, and a half hour. Now let's go to here, I'll go to two hours. You click right here, you'll notice here on the left-hand side, we have the calendar, right? And then here on the right hand side, we have the time. I want two hours, I can cost that one to go at 1 a.m. Boom, 1 a.m. this time, it's booked in. All you gotta is put your name, uh, first and last, email address right there. Also put your country code in for a different country and put the phone number in, of course, and what you wanna learn. It's pretty simple to fill this out. Once you do, we're ready to go. So if you got any problems, you wanna know more, you can come right to here and you can call me as well. 
So now that I've made my STEM program work, I've got everything here on pad A13. There's all four layers. Now, next thing I want to do here, and I have all four layers lined up, I want to go back into here, and I'd like to check it out. So I'm going to go here to Program. The four squares right there, and we're in Program. And I can see here in Program, my layer sample layers appear right here where it says Sample Layers right there. And with the sample layers, you can see here we have all of it. The vocals are on one layer, the bass is in two, the drums are in three, and other is in four. Now, my problem generally is that it plays and then it doesn't stop by doing one shot. I will do this thing right here. The top layer, I'm just going to make it go to note on. And now all the other layers will be note on as well. There's two, there's three, and there's four. And you'll see that uh, pad, play, modes, and this is note on. Perfect. So I can come in and just tap this. It stops instantly. So now what I want to do probably is I've got this down already in my preparation. This is the vocal right here. So you can hear she's getting ready to sing. I'll pull this down to here, and now I want to just tap this. Okay, good. So you probably know what song that is by now, okay? And so now what I want to do is I'd like to get this stuff to warp out. But I want to make sure everything's going to work out perfectly. I know I've got this top sample here, and I'm actually here in program mode, right? So what I want to do right now is I'd like to check this out here, and I want to see these samples. Let me come into grid mode like this, right? And I can look at this sample right here, look at this sample here, see that? I can look at these samples while they're still here in CHOP, and I'm in my software program, which is kind of cool. I can see the waveform of every sample. I notice the samples aren't so loud, I get that part automatically. And so what I want to do here in this case is I want to make sure I can warp this thing out. Now, I'll notice here at the very top line here that says BPM right here, and you can see it says 109.69. I'll go to my next layer. Nothing's there at all, right? You don't even see the word warp here, but you do see the key, which is G minor. I'll come to here again, nothing here, and I go to the last layer, nothing there. So mainly, in this layer right here, I'm able to warp stuff out. Now, I know here that this says that's 109.69. And it says the same thing here, of course. That's what I did already. I prepped it out. So, I want to do next. I want to make sure my metronome is on right here. And what I want to do next is uh, go back to grid right here where I'm at. And I'm grid when we're actually in the program edit mode here. I'm in 13. I'll come here and grab this like this. I'm going to drag this out to the end. So, four bar sequence, I do believe. And I want to play it to get sure, make sure I am. Okay, it is four bars. I know that for sure. Now, I just want to come in here and sort of play it. So, my metronome's going on here. No, that's 13. I'll bring 13 down here. Perfect. I'll press stop right here. So, now I got that right. I know it's going to work. What I want to do next, though, is I like to warp out everything. So I'm going to make sure I go back into my wave. I see that then I press warp right here, and I'm looking at my other layers here. Of course, there's no warp there, no warp here, or anyplace else. Good. There's three, and then there's four, and we don't see warp here. So we can see that this first sample is controlling everything. And now I'm going to press play from the beginning. I'm going to turn the tempo down. It's not warping. Got that? It doesn't warp. And the reason why, I can only warp the first sample. I cannot warp these other three below it. And so you got to be aware of that. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go back here to 109.69. I'll make this very simple. I'm going to press edit. I'm going to pop that in there. Now, since the software and the NPC is so cool, it tells you what the BPM is. This is going to be easy. Watch this. I'm going to go to right here, uh, back here, back to grid. I'm going to grab my samples and put them on the pads directly. I'm going to put the vocals right here. I'm going to grab the other and put that right over here. I want to put the drums over here on three. I want to put the uh, bass on here on the second one, right? So I got uh, pad 19, 10, 11, and 12. We got the vocal, bass, drums, and other. So these are going to be my sequence joints. I'm going to come right here. I'm going to say, you know something? I'm going to grab this. Pull that down to here, right? I'm going to pull that right there. And what I want to do next is I want to probably get one for each one of these tracks. So I'm going to come to here, pop that there, 
pop this here, pop that there. These are actually going to trigger these samples. And I got to make sure I'm going to go the full length. There you go. I'm going to go too far outside of that. Good. And I just want to do the same thing here. Make sure I got me my length right. There you go. And I'm going to come back to here. My length needs, needs to be right. My length should be perfect right there. And I'm going to grab this one too and get the length right as well. Get over there. Okay, good. Now I should be good here. I think we are good. Yeah, we're good. And so now I want to make sure each one of these samples are going to play straight through. So I'm going to go to sample mode, sample edit right here. I got them on. They're right there. They're in the system. And now that I'm in there, that's great. I can see it. I'm not trying to chop them. I'm going to go back into here where I am in the main mode. I will go here where it says wave. And you'll see here, I can see that this sample here is not warped. Okay. Now, let me shrink this back down again. This is the drum sample right here. Okay, so now I can warp the drum sample. Notice that. I can get the bass line. Ooh, that sounds low. So I'm going to come to here. I'm going to press warp. And you get an idea also how these songs are made back in I think it's like the 80s or something like that. I have no idea. But 80s, late 90s, I have no idea. But this is how these tracks were made. You can see the bass is low in the mix. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to normalize this sucker. I'm going to go back here, this sample, right? Sample edit. This is the bass line. I will come in here and I will uh, play it actually for you. See that? So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to do the normalize. I'll normalize the sample out. Make it bigger. There you go. I want to have a nice big sample. A lot of speakers right here, as you can see. So it normalizes to that peak. Next thing I'll do is I'll go right back in here to my main mode. And I'm also in the waveform section of the grid. And so that was done. Now I got the drums. I got this music here. Okay, I want to get that done too. I will come to here. Um... Sample edit, I will go to normalize. I'm going to normalize it too as well. That looks much bigger. And of course, I will play that. Oh, you can hear it. That's just simple enough. Now, I'll go back to my main mode. Of course, I'm still here in the waveform right now. I want to warp this sample, right? That's other. The drums are warped. This is warped. And the bass lines, I'm going to sing it too. I'm going to warp the singer too as well. Just warping her up. I'm not going to play her though. And we're going to go right back to here. And I'm going to go back into my mode here. I'm gonna make sure these vocals are off. Boom, I don't wanna hear those things. So now, I will be able to do anything I wanna do. And this is what's so cool. I get back to grid here, I'll play the track for you. You get the metronomes in. Now I'm gonna off right here. That's 120 BPM. Let's go to one. I can do any tempo I want now with any one of these stems. Now, the reason why I'm doing this and the reason why you should do that with your stems, because you may want to take the stems and collect them. What I'm doing right now, I'm getting guitars. I'm getting rock guitars. I'm getting Eddie Van Halen guitars. I'm getting Jimmy Page guitars. I mean, Jimi Hendrix. I can now warp anything, grab guitar parts, build a collection of guitars, know the BPM, and then I know the key. I can use these guitars in anywhere I want to in any kind of stem program or just to create a track. And it's kind of cool. So my thing is I collect horns. I collect everything. What am I talking about? I don't care what it is. It's going to be an ice cream truck off a movie. I can get a stem from that. That's kind of hot. So any questions, hit me up. I'm SampleKings.com. I'm Doc. And my next lesson will be pretty cool too as well. I'll see you in the next video. And thanks again.